afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon as we release the report on about the D.C. jail and our findings there. Unusually cruel. <laughs> That's the title that we gave this report. You're going to stick with that motherfucker? Because this is the treatment that we found of the pretrial January 6th defendants being held right here in Washington, D.C. in the jail. Now, I will tell you, uh, along with my colleagues here, which I'm, I'm very grateful uh, to serve with them, we had been trying uh, many times to get into the jail to take a tour. And we're used to doing that as members of Congress. We're used to touring uh, facilities, and it's never been a problem. As a matter of fact, normally we're welcome. But we were denied entrance by Deputy Warden Landerkin multiple times. As a matter of fact, she locked us out before. And uh, it was clear that there was a lot to hide. Right now, what we have happening in America is a two-tier justice system. Let's all take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? In the summer of 2020, there has been an estimated number somewhere around 7,750 to over 10,000 BLM demonstrations. <laughs> According to the press, approximately 6% of them were violent. That's 570 riots, if you do the math there. But here's the deal. There was only one riot that took place here in Congress at, at the Capitol on January 6th. But what we have seen unfold has been unbelievable. It is a two-tier justice system. <laughs> so we know that approximately 90% more of Antifa BLM rioters have been, have been released from jail. Their charges have been dropped. We know that in cities across America, there have been over $2 billion in damage. But here at the Capitol on January 6th, it's approximately $1.5 million. There's a clear difference. <laughs> but yet we have a January 6th committee that Nancy Pelosi is leading that is nothing but a political witch hunt on Republicans and Trump supporters all across America and anyone that was at the Capitol on January 6th. What's happening to these people being held in custody is wrong, it's unconstitutional, it's a violation of their rights, and it is an abuse that I call on every single member of Congress to start paying attention to. We need investigations, it's outrageous. The American people are purely upset, disgusted, and cannot believe this is happening in our country. <laughs> <laughs> and I think all of us should be appalled. You see, this jail in Washington, D.C. has been known. It's had many reports of being a despicable place as early as 1976. U.S. District Court Judge William Bryant ruled the conditions inside the jail violated the Eighth Amendment's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Oh. The jail had to move 200 inmates, inmates because of excessive heat. In November 2021, the Marshal Service found the CDF to be inhospitable, but yet people are still being housed there. But the January 6th defendants are being treated differently on a whole nother level. They have been beaten by the guards. They are called white supremacists. They are denied religious services, haircuts, shaving, the ability to trim their fingernails. There's more outrageous things happening there. They're denied time with their attorneys. They are denied the ability to even see their families and have their families visit there. They are denied bail and being held there without bail. Many of these people have never been charged for a crime before. Some of them are veterans and the treatment is unbelievable. They are told they have to denounce President Trump. <laughs> they are told that their views are the views of cult members, even though these are men that every single night at nine o'clock at night, they put their hand over their heart and sing the national anthem voluntarily. Whoa. Imagine a group of men being held in jail with no idea of when they're going to go to court, no ability to bail out, no ability to see their family, being mistreated and abused worse than we treat terrorists at Gitmo. 
yet they had their hand over their heart every night at 9 o'clock and sing the national anthem. Oh. That's something I don't think any of us can fathom. While they're being persecuted by the very government that has the American flag over our buildings. This is completely wrong. Whether we agree, disagree, and I can tell you right now, I completely disagree and am very against the violence that happened on January 6th at the Capitol. We should all, all disagree with how these people are being treated. This is completely unacceptable and come together and declare that this is wrong and call for it to stop. <laughs>